Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. Today we're going to take a look at transparency. So here I have two different things set up on top of each other. And when I click on one and use the transparency slider, which is this orange dot, I can reveal what's underneath it. So how did I set this up? Let's take a look at our object browser. Our object browser shows that there are certain objects on the top layer, and these are those nets, and there's other objects in the middle layer. You could put these both on the top layer, both in the middle layer, as long as the image that you want on top is higher in the list than the image you want below. Then you can have a student select the image on top and change its level of transparency. I can also start with the cube on top. So I move this up to the top layer. And then I can click here and bring up the net so that it covers it up. So all I did was start out with it being completely um, transparent. So working with layers really allows you to add interactivity to your flowchart where students are able to transition between one image and another image. You could do this for all different subjects, or you could even use text underneath so that as the image became more and more transparent, text would be revealed that described the image. I hope you've enjoyed today's active tip. Check out our website to find out more about our professional development options.